Hi everyone, today is Indie Bookstore Day and my husband Dan and I are going to Manhattan because that's a thing that we can do now. Woo. So we are going to be taking the bus to Manhattan. We are planning on meeting Matthew and Jed in the afternoon and kind of doing our own thing in the morning. So I thought it'd be fun to take people along for the ride because I have fun things to show for once. So, yeah, and it's a beautiful day. It's like going to be in the mid 60s and sunny. So I'm very excited. Hello, I am back home now. I'm not the best vlogger, so I didn't get, you know, the most footage. And I met up with Jennifer from Insert Literary Pun Here and Matthew Sharapa. Got no footage of that, but I do make an appearance in Matthew's video, or at least I should, hopefully. Um, I make the edit, but we met up and it was delightful. So I did not <laughs> document that at all. I was just having a good time, but I thought it would be fitting to wrap this up by sharing what I got and where I got them. We'll just do a quick rundown of my stack. I was definitely limited by how much I could physically carry because we took the bus and we were walking all around the city. You know, I did well over 10,000 steps today. So, you know, I wanted to not completely murder my back. So I was trying to limit myself to only buying like two books from each store. I ended up getting three from the last store, but oh well. The first book I got is The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. I Definitely regret not having read any Didion previously, and this seems like a, as good as any place to start. I saw it on the table this morning at McNally Jackson, so I felt I felt drawn to it. I felt compelled. Um, you know, I wanted to get at least some nonfiction today, and I think that this will be a great entry point into her body of work. And I heard wonderful things. I'm ready for it to destroy me emotionally, and yeah, I'm generally just very excited about this one. Also, this has a great photo of her and her family on the back. You, maybe you can't see her expression on that in that picture, but it is a work of art, so. I also, at McNally Jackson, got Burnt Sugar by Avni Doshi, which I've wanted to read since people were talking about it two years ago. I just never got around to it, so I'm excited to finally do so. Also, I really like the paperback cover. The pink and the two oranges, I think, are really striking, um, given the contrast of, like, the bluish-green background. Um, I just... I really like it. She's staring into your soul on this cover. Um, I know this is about a mother-daughter relationship that is 
not healthy to say the least. I don't really need to know more. Um, I know so many people loved it back in the day. I also got two books at the Strand. Let me tell you, only buying two books at the Strand is a challenge, especially given that I've only been there a couple of times before. So it's very overwhelming. There were so many things I wanted, but I ended up getting Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. I just felt like I needed to get it today. I really want to read it soon. Um, you know, it has a really great chance to win the women's prize this year. Everybody loves it. And I hope that I love it too. And then I also got Love in the Big City by Sung Young Park, translated by Anton Hur, which did not make the Booker International shortlist, but I've still also heard phenomenal things about this. Um, queer story set in Seoul, definitely into that. Excited for it. Um, you know, I don't even mind the sort of YA vibes of the US cover. The UK cover is better, but I'm still happy to have this on my shelf. And it's the only hardcover that I bought today because I did not want to carry around something like incredibly massive. I got two works of translation at Three Lives and Company. First is Elena Knows by Claudia Pinheiro, which is super big right now. It's on the Booker Prize shortlist. And I know people are just raving about this and I wanted to be a part of that. And I also got Woman Running in the Mountains by Yuko Tsushima, which I picked up because I really enjoyed Territory of Light by Yuko Tsushima, which was a really interesting short novella about this woman who had been separated from her husband and it was about her experience of being a single mother living in this apartment building that was like inside of an office building. It was so it was kind of it almost felt surreal even though it was very much based in reality but I loved the way that she played with imagery and um like the atmosphere of what was going on. So I'm hoping to like this as well. I know nothing about the plot of this. I just was stoked to see that more Tsushima was being translated. So also has a, an intro from Lauren Groff. And then at Book Culture, which is where I met Matthew and Jen, uh, I was pretty tired. It's been a long day, definitely had not had enough coffee. So I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm ready to be influenced. Please suggest some things for me. So Matthew suggested Elizabeth Strout's My Name is Lucy Barton. I really liked Olive Kittredge and have meant to read more Strout since, so I'm excited to read this one. It's also one of my mom's favorite books of all time. Uh, I also got The Door by Magda Sabo, which both Matthew and Jennifer were super excited about me picking this one up. And it was one of those books that were just kind of following me around all day. Like there were several books that I noticed at every single bookstore. And it almost felt like a sign, like there was something about these books that was drawing me in and, and and making me notice them at every single stop and I did not get every one of those books um, but there were several distinct ones and this was one of them so I, I picked it up at Mindali Jackson and I picked it up at Three Lives and put it down so when I saw this and it was a, a discounted copy at Book Culture it seemed like you know the perfect three beat I ended up picking it up and then I also Impulse got the Paying Guest by Sarah Waters because it was a remaindered copy. So there's literally nothing wrong with it as far as I can tell, except that it has a little red dot on the bottom because it's a remaindered copy. Um, but I got it for $6 as opposed to the, you know, normal list price of 18. Felt good. Um, and I, this is the last Waters that I have. I have read all of her other works. I would honestly really love if she came out with something soon. So I knew that I had something else waiting for me because I know not everybody really likes the paying guests but i am excited to see where this falls in my ranking and that is it that is what i got today for indie bookstore day which i normally don't buy this many books at once and i'd only previously before this point had purchased seven books this year and i have read four of those seven so i felt i feel pretty good about what I, where I'm at in terms of acquisitions. I just wish I was reading more from my shelves and reading generally more quickly because I've, I've tended to read a lot of audiobooks and things from the library, especially with my booktube prize reading. Not a lot of that's coming from my shelves. So I just need to read more and read faster. And hopefully I will find a way to get to these soon and before I decide to get rid of them. So thank you for joining me. If you watched this little vlog, I hope you get liked seeing a glimpse of New York City, and I hope to return many times in the future and do more book shopping, but it was great to just indulge Indie Bookstore Day and go on a bookish adventure. So 
I'm glad that I got to take you along for that a little bit. Um, thank you for watching this video if you made it to the end. Hopefully I'll be back to making content more regularly. I've just been really busy <laughs> with work um, and finding time to film during the work week has obviously not succeeded so far. Hopefully I can find a better time um, and I can do like a life update if anybody cares or I can just start trying to do like a weekend reads again. Let me know what you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Be ready if you subscribe to this channel for more bookish content and I will see you in the next one. Bye.